Here we are in a snap election in New Brunswick. It's late August of 2020. Media will continue to tell the story the way they want to tell the story, and politicians and candidates and parties will continue to talk about possible policy and financial economic changes, education changes, healthcare changes, a whole raft of things. You're going to get inundated with all of this information, and we're going to do this, we're going to do that. No one ever talks about what really goes on during an election period and why candidates get elected. Most of it's because, oh, I know the candidate, and that's who I'm going to vote for. It runs all through New Brunswick politics, and it's been that way for decades. You can be the best candidate in a constituency, and it doesn't matter. All that really matters is where you were born and raised. This runs through everything, and unless that changes, the politics and the dynamic that goes on in the legislature probably will not change. And it's one of those forbidden things to ever talk about. But when you do some homework and look who were the candidates and then look who made it into the legislature and who won, in the past two provincial elections, there's only one MLA who wasn't born and raised in New Brunswick. And yet there were a lot more candidates who weren't born and raised that never made it in there. And on the campaign trail, that's a constant theme. Oh, you're a really good candidate, but I could never vote for you because you're not from here. How can we help New Brunswick get over that hump of voting for people who weren't born and raised in the province or even in the town or community they come from? Flip that the other way, which you hear constantly in coffee shops, restaurants, on the street, any kind of political conversation. I'll vote for that person because I know mom and dad, or I went to high school with them. How is that a criteria for making complex decisions on complex systems that are going to impact the next 40 years? I don't have an answer for it. It's just an observation, but it's constant. If you want to win in New Brunswick politics, you have to be born and raised. The challenge for voters is can you stop doing that and truly try to pick the best candidate who will be responsible for decisions that are going to affect the next 40 years.